So one of the greatest lies men tell themselves is I don't have time. I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to go out with my friends. Are you telling yourself this lie? Are you basically putting all of your needs after your wife, your kids, the dog? Are you, are you fifth in a house, sixth in a household of five? You know, this is, it's funny because men who are in this situation still have a wife who wants to go on expensive vacations, yet they don't want to spend any time with their husbands. What if you started putting your desires and needs first? You know, I hate the, hate it, but it's an accurate analogy. Put your own oxygen mask on first. You got to take care of yourself and your health so that you can show up better for yourself and your family. So, are you lying to yourself that you don't have time? And then if you truly don't, because I see this in some of the men's groups, guys are like, I work 10 or 12 hour shifts, I've got a one hour drive each way, or they're working six, seven days a week. Well, again, that is a work problem because you have either gotten yourself into a financial situation you can't leave it it's the only game in town but you're again you're you're in the wrong position when you're letting work dictate all of your life you need to work to live not live to work okay brother so the question becomes is that job worth it because a lot of times the guys will say, well, I've got two car payments. Literally, the car payments are six or $700 each now because they wanted a new car. Not that they needed a new car. They wanted a new car. They needed transportation, okay? So because you fell into the wants trap and confusing them with needs, you're now financially locked into, I have to make X a month. Well... You can make some hard decisions to change that. It takes some time and planning, but those cars can be sold. You need transportation, not a new car. And there's nothing wrong with a new car if you can afford it and can pay for it when you buy it and not have a $700 or $1,200 a month payment. Because what you're doing there is you're lying to yourself again because you can't afford it. If you got a $1,200 payment on a car, you can't afford it. Okay, if you can't pay cash for it, you can't afford it. All right, you can lie to yourself and say, I'll always have a car payment. That's not true. So, some things to think about start putting yourself first. If you're not taking care of your health, you're shortening your life anyhow. I've been working out while I'm gone, there's no excuse to or exemption from working out because I'm on my honeymoon. So, if you're struggling with any of these areas, reach out. There's a contact below if you want to talk because you've got to get yourself straightened out and then your finances straightened out if you want to turn your life around. See you later, brother.